Hey everybody, I'm back again and today I'm going to tell you how to install Teams in Home Assistant. Some people ask me how that works and it's quite easy but you have to take a couple of steps to get it working and once you set it up you can install virtually any team that you'd like. There are a couple of things that you have to do before though so first make sure that you have access to the files on your Home Assistant server or your Raspberry Pi. If you don't know how to do it, I created a video on how to install Samba in Home Assistant. You can find the link in the description below. And next to that, you have to install Hacks on Home Assistant. And if you haven't installed it yet, check out the video about that. And the link to that video is also down below in the description. So when you set that up, let's dive into installing Teams. Installing Teams is quite easy, um, but you have to do a couple of things. The first thing that you have to do is that you have to add some lines to your configuration.yaml file. So let's go there first. I'm going to my editor and I already added the lines here. So you have to add this, these lines to your configuration.yaml file, which will show Home Assistant where it can find the teams that are going to be installed by Hex. So after you did this, then you go back to Home Assistant and you change your configuration.yaml file. You have to reboot Home Assistant. So we go to configuration and then you go to server controls. You can check the configuration if your configuration.yaml file has been added correctly. And if you get configuration invalid, then you can restart Home Assistant. So we're going to restart it now. And now we wait a bit. So Home Assistant has been restarted and now we can start installing our Teams. But first of all, let me show you where you can normally change your Teams or select your Teams once you have installed them. And you can do that in your profile. So if you go to your profile, you see an option here where you can change the team. Um, I cannot change any team yet because I haven't installed anything and I only use the default team. So let's add some Teams. And for adding teams, we go to hacks and then we go to front end. And as you can see, there's nothing installed yet, only a button card, but there's no teams installed. So I'm going to click the plus, going to filter on team. And now I get a couple of teams that I can install. I really like to have a darker team. So let's filter on dark and see what we get here. Well, for instance, let's see how the Noctis teams, uh, team looks. Well, I think this is really nice. I'm going to install this. Now I can click on install. Okay, now Hex has installed uh, Noctis for me, as you can see here. It's here. Now I can check a bit if Hex is already finished with that. Sometimes you get a message that it takes a while. Well, let's just see if it's already available, shall we? I'll go to Smart Home Junkie. Hey, and now I can change a team. So let's select, ah, there's my Noctis. I select it and voila, here it is. We have a different layout as we had before. So great, this is how it works. Really easy and now you can install any team that you, uh, you would like. So Hex is a great tool to do the two things like this. So if it helped you, please give my video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, maybe share the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.